Duncan, so I'm sitting here with the infamous T-Baby, you know, your friend, my friend. T-Baby, tell us what's what you got going on. Oh, man, how y'all doing, first of all? Y'all already know it's your neighborhood girl, T-Baby. <laughs> you know, we keep stuff going on around here, you know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, we got something going on with the seniors, uh, which will be next month, October the 21st. We're doing adult prom, a senior prom. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what we're doing. So we're going to invite everybody here. Um at Les Bates. Um, I forgot the address, but I'll get back at you. Is it going to be here? Yes, absolutely. Twi 1274 North 37th Street. I learned that only 30 seconds ago. Oh, well, you better mm. know. That's why we're here. That's why we tag team. You know? Yeah, that's why we tag team. But yeah, that's what do. It's just something to bring back because there's a lot of seniors uh, still have not uh, and haven't went to their prom yet. Mm -hmm. Ain't been to a prom yet. Wanted right. to go. You know, back in the day when you're talking about seniors, uh, the prom, you know, probably couldn't afford or just couldn't have to f stop school to take care of their siblings or right. what, what have now, Ms. you. Ms. Vonda was telling me about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling her that this is one of the best kept secrets for senior services here in our city. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people don't know about the, all of the different services that they give, uh, render here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, T-Baby, we can find you anywhere. Yes. Where there is community, <laughs> we can find you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you, you work the community. You just, <laughs> it's not just the community. And, ooh, sure. if I had time. Ooh, Only if I had time. But <laughs> listen, there's something else uh, that's coming up about, mm -hmm. uh, that I heard uh, about the block party. Yes. So what yes. is that all about? Um, the block party is for the seniors. Uh, they gonna, I don't have too much information on that, but um, they're going to do a, um, uh, like some like a health fair for the seniors, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, uh, community work for the seniors. And just, I think to get them information out what's going on in their community too, where they can get involved and get some stuff that they might need for their home or what have you, you know, for themselves. So uh, the block parties uh, interact with one another. So what's your passion? Mm. See my seniors happy. Because you you Seeing always taking care happy. of the seniors, but there's you always taking care of the young folks too. The young folks that say my community happy. I uh, I just thank God, you know, that that, that he showed favor to me first and foremost That's to right. allow me to uh even want to uh deal with the community because you know dealing with the community can be hell. Yeah. You but know. see, here's my thing, T baby. You don't have to be here. You know, because you can be someplace else doing your thing, you know, yes. brand, yes. Uh, taking care of the T-Baby's brand, you Absolutely. know, or the Ooh-Wee brand, you right. know, because uh, now you can't hide from me now because, you right. know, I know, you because I'm just saying that for you to do so much and get so little credit for the things that you do, but you do a lot and you don't ask for nothing, you know. But right now, is there anything that is needed in our community that you would like to see come to fruition that you would like the community to help you out with? Yes. Um, I do I do get recognition. I don't need the recognition from him. God blesses me all the time. And that's why he gives me the ability to do what I do. And I don't ask for none because when I do put something forward, he already have some established for me in the background for me to go do what that's we do right. like me and you do. You know what I'm saying? We can we can do something and just ask a few people, you know, and, and a lot of people, uh, it ain't successful people that's going to hang on. It's the people that want to be in your shoes that hate on you. So at the same time, you ain't worried about that. I don't worry about them, period, mm -hmm. period. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the ones who going to give their kids some school clothes. We're going to be the ones to give their kids an Easter basket. That's right. We're going to be the ones to get help you with your eye or help you with get your uh, 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 air conditioner or something. That's so right. you can hate all you want to, but you're going to be the one in, li in my line. Right. How, How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm blessed. I know I you, because it's a lot to be done. It's a you lot know, to be done. I, there's guys. something else I want to ask you. Please, um, please. With this recent merger, uh, Cahokia, Centerville, and Allerton, how, what is your thoughts on that? Uh, the, the, the merge, the merge was, I think, was needed and for us to saving money and bringing money to the different municipalities. And uh, the bringing um, uh, the community together, but at the same time, we got to get more uh, involved. I, I think the uh, the uh, officials they see it, 
They see the outcome, but the community don't see it. Mm -hmm. And when that comes about, it comes confusion. So what we need to do, we need to get some more information out of what's going on with uh, Cahokia Heights. And make better communication. And make better communication with the officials and the community community. so we all can be on one accord. Yeah. On one accord because since um, this off what you said, but since we're talking political, I think that that new safety uh, safety T uh, act that that he put in place uh, for the twenty for twenty three, um, I, I I think that was uh, a wrong decision uh, for the government because now you telling me that the the kidnappers and the rapists and the burglaries and the home invasion. People, you know what I'm saying, they can go do do that and you're not going to get charged for it. So that was not a good decision on wow. my behalf. Wow. You know, that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not speaking it, but you act, that's what I think. And I think it's going to cause a whole lot of deaths. I say you asked. Huh? Yeah, you asked. <laughs> so it's going to cause a whole lot of deaths. The purge is here. <laughs> the purge is here in East St. Louis, in the state of Illinois. Um um, the, they, I don't think they thought that out. Why would they do that? Why would they put the gun law in, 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 in effective for everyone can walk around with a gun so you do not have an equal uh, uh, opportunity as the police officer? You took that away when you allowed the 18, 19 year old to walk around with shotguns on their arms in public and all that. So now it's just like back in school, it was coming when they took the power of discipline. We do not like discipline. We do not like discipline, so you letting us choose our own discipline. No. No. Why would you do that? Because now you, you're finna be uh, murders mm-hmm. getting away. It's a deal with a lot. We got to deal with a lot with this new safety T law act mm-hmm. that's coming about in January. Mm-hmm. So we got thousands of people finna walk out of jail. Because they finna walk, you got me on camera. Because these people finna walk out of jail, then they kidnap these people, then rape these people, then murder these people. So now they finna get out of jail because of the new law that you signed a piece of paper with an ink pen? No. No. I think you need to take that back to the drawing board and reconsider that. So whoever sit there with a smile on your face and allow him to sign that, hey, I'm with, I'm with Pritchard. But at the same time, that was a wrong decision. Well, you know, this is Let's Talk About It. And if you have an issue, problem, or concern, don't fight about it. Let's talk about it. And mm. that's what we're doing now. Ooh. And I just appreciate your honesty, T-Baby. Absolutely. And I appreciate you putting it out there, you know, and hopefully that there's somebody in our community that will get a better understanding of what's going on and uh, show up in some type of advocacy, you know, uh, just to keep things safe here in the city. Absolutely, that's what we need to do. And another thing with uh, 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 Miss Rice and uh, Miss Roby, which was is is April. Uh, we doing a drive with. Uh, we need t-shirts, underwear, and socks. In the brown paper bag, we need tampons, soap, toothbrush, and a towel. Because these kids, I'm not giving out no book bag or no. Uh, notebook because they didn't got five or six of them. They, they, did, they, did, they did everybody's book bag giveaway. They did everybody four or five. You got so many book bags and pencils and notebooks, you don't use them no way. But when you come to school, we need y'all to be clean and we need y'all to be fresh and we need y'all to stop with them. Your shirts, parents, we're going we gonna to send it out. Look for it on Facebook, look for it in the monitor. But we need y'all to get these kids' underclothes clean. Then there you have it. Until the next time, T baby, till we talk again. Till we I talk appreciate again. you. Appreciate and you. Know you. I love you. Absolutely. We're gonna talk a little bit more. And now you can <laughs> We're gonna talk a little bit more about this safe act law that's going on. Yeah, we're gonna let's have a sit down. It. Next talk uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ooh All we right. Ooh we back to you, Duncan in the studio. Let's go.